I've been eating a lot of pizza. I've been eating double cheeseburgers. <laughs> I've also been craving salad, so you know, that's good too. Hey guys, welcome back. It feels a little surreal to be sitting down and to be actually doing a pregnancy vlog. If you guys are new to my channel, my name's Jamie and this is baby number four. I am currently almost 22 weeks pregnant with baby number four and it is a little girl. Her name is Ingrid and we are over the moon excited for her. Okay, so I wanted to sit down and I wanted to do kind of a little first trimester recap for you. I didn't get to sit down and vlog through my first trimester because I was so sick. I was so, so sick. And as you can tell, I sound a little winded right now. I just filmed a haul video and I was trying stuff on. <laughs> I was like trying to move around and, you know, make it look fancy and I feel a little bit winded now. So we ended up getting pregnant the cycle following the chemical pregnancy that I had. Um, I believe I had that in January. We ended up getting pregnant following that cycle. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to ovulate or um, if my body would kind of kick back into gear following that. So I did track my ovulation and it did appear that I ovulated and that we timed things correctly and um, we found out that we were expecting in February. Something that is really special is that we found out that we were expecting Ingrid the exact same day that I found out, or that we found out that I was pregnant with Ezra, um, who is my oldest son. I have a daughter, Fiona, who's five, a son, Ezra, who is three, he'll be four in November, and then um, a son, Jude, who just turned two this past May. And so Ingrid and Ezra actually share Ingrid's due date is Ezra's birthday, which is kind of cool, November 6th. And so yeah, I'm really excited. We're gonna have another fall baby. At first when I found out that I was pregnant, I was excited, but I feel like I was kind of filled with a lot of mixed emotions, kind of coming out of experiencing an early miscarriage, a chemical pregnancy, and going through all the emotions of being over the moon and just so, so excited and then experiencing loss and um, kind of working through that. And I feel like I was still working through that when I found out that I was expecting again. It's a lot of different feelings, it definitely is. So through the first trimester, I started getting sick right before I turned six weeks. Once I started getting sick, I knew, okay, here we go. <laughs> this is not new for me. I was sick during all my other pregnancies. And, and yeah, it just kind of, kind of hit me. And so I was so sick this time. I went into the hospital um, because I was, I couldn't even keep water down. I mean, I was just, ugh, it was, it was hard. It was really, really hard. Up until about 18, 19 weeks, I think is when I stopped throwing up and then slowly the um, nausea dissipated. Now, I'm 22 weeks right now, almost 22 weeks, and there are times when I still get nauseous if I wait too long to eat. Um, in the morning time when I wake up, I usually am pretty nauseous, sometimes I'll dry heave, but other than that though, I'm actually eating food now, I have cravings, I've been eating a lot of pizza, been eating double cheeseburgers. <laughs> I've also been craving salad, so you know, that's good too. But I'm back to eating and I enjoy it now because when you can't eat and you don't have anything that sounds good and you're picking your meals based on what it's gonna be like when it comes back up, it's not a good place to be. I experienced some round ligament pains super early on. Like I think I was like seven weeks pregnant and I started feeling like I was stretching and I was kind of sore, which was a little alarming to me. Um, but this is my fourth baby, and so I think my body just kind of kicked into gear and knew what to do. Speaking of my body kicking into gear, during my first trimester, I lost about 10 pounds. And before I got pregnant, I was actually like my wedding weight. I had lost all my baby weight and my um, holding on to nursing weight from Jude, and so I really looked and felt my best before I got pregnant. And then when I was sick, 
I had ketones in my urine and my body was like just floating and I lost like 10 pounds. However, don't don't be so sad because I gained it all back very, very quickly. Um, I gained like 15 pounds in a matter of a month. Like it was so fast. As soon as I started eating, I was like, my hips are getting big. Like I remember being 16 weeks and I could slowly start eating things and my hips started widening and my thighs started widening. I was like, and I'm pregnant. I am one of those people that when I'm pregnant, my thighs and my butt look pregnant. Like I automatically go into having the hourglass or is that a pear? I don't know, this shape. <laughs> Let's see, I started this pregnancy at like 115, lost some weight, and then I think right now I'm at like 137, but I'm pregnant and so if there's ever any good excuse to be gaining weight fast and eating all the foods that you want, it's during pregnancy. I have, for the fourth time, an anterior placenta, which if you don't know what that means, it means that the placenta is behind the baby. And so I'm having, I had some hard, I had a hard time feeling the baby move for a while. And I had this with all of my pregnancies, which is kind of a bummer because I feel like maybe some of the impact and some of the movement that other people feel, um, I have never felt in any of my pregnancies because it's always been buffered. They say it's kind of like having a cushion or a pillow between you and the baby. That's kind of a bummer but I am feeling her now at about 21 weeks. I would say probably like five days ago, I started feeling her and feeling little kicks and it's just so reassuring. Um, for a while, because I couldn't feel her, I got really nervous. I'd pull out my little Doppler and I would listen for her, especially if you're going through a loss. I think I just, you know, you get nervous. Even if you don't go through a loss, you get nervous. And um, seeing when other people feel their babies, and even though I know that in my other pregnancies I didn't feel my kids until around 20 weeks, this time it actually felt like it took a little longer. And um, so I was waiting, <laughs> I was waiting. And actually the first time that I actually really felt her move, Fiona felt her move too, which was so special. I was laying on the couch with Fee and um, I had my hand on my belly. And I actually felt her more from the outside, which is normal with an anterior placenta. And so then I grabbed Fiona's hand and put her on my belly and um, it was so special. Like Fiona was like, that's my sister, that's my sister. So um, that was really special to be able to share that moment with her and for her to be able to feel her sister kick. Speaking of Fiona being excited about her little sister, we found out that we were having a girl when I was about 16 weeks pregnant, I think. We decided to take the kids to um, a gender ultrasound. It was just a black and white. It was um, not a very expensive one. It was specifically to find out the gender because Fiona really wanted to go to an ultrasound. She wanted to experience that and see the baby. And so we took all the kids with us to this ultrasound and she was like certain she was going to get a Sister. like she was positive that God had answered her prayer she told me God's giving me a sister because I prayed for a sister which terrified me a little bit because I know that sometimes God's will for us is different than what we think and so I tried to kind of prepare her for that but lo and behold we went to the ultrasound and they announced that it was a girl and Fiona was so excited yet she was not surprised she said see mom I told you I'm having a sister I knew God was gonna give me a sister which is such a special thing so if you guys are familiar with my channel I've talked a lot of times in the past just about I don't have a sister and I always wanted to have that kind of relationship and so being able to see my daughter have that is so special so I'm really excited for Fiona to have a sister um, I'll have two boys and two girls at this point and it's just I'm excited and I'm so excited to have another little girl other than that you guys I feel like that's basically it for my first trimester I was really sick I was super tired I'm starting to feel a little bit better now I'm just so grateful for this baby and for um, just this next journey in our life so I hope you guys will stick around subscribe if you're not already and I look forward to sharing this journey with you guys and having you along for the ride I love you guys and I'll see you later